This is MJ. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an analyzer. You can find all my work at mjmunoz.com. Welcome to Story Over Everything, episode 38 for October 14th through 20th, 2023. I have my author's log for Growbug Tales, chapter 11 in this episode. And I just have a minute or two of commentary because I'm getting this episode out later than I'm supposed to. Uh, or than I wanted to. I know you're not supposed to mention that if you have a podcast, but here I am mentioning it because I'm a rule breaker. I'm a rebel. I'm a... Anyway, so uh, I am struggling to find the balance. I'm building back towards finding the balance. I believe the last six days in a row, or at least the 13th through the 20th, 14th through the 20th, I wrote and I drew 10 minutes a day each, and that's really good. I'm very happy with that. I need to push myself forward a little bit more. Uh, Saturday, I did not write or draw. Uh, Sunday, um, which is when I'm actually recording this, the 22nd, I did. And I am pleased with that, but uh, it's taken me forever to get this podcast recorded and put out there. And last week, I forgot to publish my podcast on YouTube, even though it's available in the RSS feed and um, basically in all the, the podcatchers, which is a good thing. But I failed to go all the way and get it done the right way. And it's a combination of I don't have enough time and I'm rushing and I also want to build the buffer. I'm slowly building that buffer and uh, yeah, maybe even I'll put my podcast episodes on a buffer as well, which maybe I can use my um, mining leaves to help me do that because that would be that'd be smart actually. Um, so Or skimming leaves, sorry. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the author's log and let you hear what I had to say. Um, what I put into these books, um, or what I put into the chapter 11 of Girlbug Tales over the course of this week. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut to the other me. My 10-minute writing session for October 14th, 2023 reads thus. I'm in Girlbug Tales chapter 10, or chapter 11, actually. What is it, Chirp? Quiver whispered. What do you think they're doing now? Tut and the Guardians, Chirp asked eagerly, nearly forgetting to whisper. Shh. Softly, Hum admonished. Quiver scooted closer to Chirp and somehow whispered more quietly than he had before. I think Watcher Tut and the Guardians are prepared for the enemy to attack. I probably shouldn't whisper on that. They're probably hiding by the defense engines waiting for an attack. I hope they're all well hidden and have to fight at all because the enemy isn't here to fight us. I hope we misread their flight pattern. Really? Chirp exclaimed. Hum gave a warning look. Sorry. Chirp whispered, then turned to Quiver and said, uh, I didn't write down how long that took to write. It was 112 words, though. My 10-minute writing session for October 15, 2023. I am still in Growbug Tales, Chapter 11. You hope they don't have to fight? Why? Chirp, you know why, Quiver said. He didn't want to say it. Because they might die, Chirp asked. Quiver was silent. But this is what we're made for, she snapped back. Not all of us. Don't you think we're meant for more than fighting? Luz knows best and so made us to be keepers and seers, too. Don't forget about watchers, Hum interjected in a sing-song tone. Right, but what do watchers watch for? Chirp argued. Watchers help guide and train grow bugs, from grubs to cadets, Quiver answered slowly. But why? Chirp pushed back. To protect them, just like they're supposed to help and protect human children, because that's what growbugs do, Quiver said with an air of finality. That took me 12 minutes to write, and it was 127 words. My 10-minute writing session for October 16, 2023 is in, it's taking place in Chapter 11 of Growbug Tales, and it reads like this. How can you protect anyone else if you don't protect yourself first? Chirp demanded. Well, Quiver started. And how can you protect yourself if you don't want to fight? If you can't fight? Chirp plowed on. The purpose of Growbugs is to fight and destroy hobnots. The whole of our lives is centered on going out and stopping hobnots to save children from them. We learn to fight them and grow stronger so we can be better keepers. Or so we can be better. Keepers help us develop into cadets, then train us to become warriors. Seers find us hobnots to fight, and guardians go out to fight them. Watchers even act as guardians, because that's what they are. They are the highest order of guardian of growbugs. 
given the most power to protect by fighting our enemies, no matter what form they take. Quiver shifted uncomfortably, until he finally said, I didn't know all Watchers were once guardians. That took me ten minutes to write, and that was 152 words. For October 17th, 2023, my ten-minute writing session is like this. Uh, this is from um, <laughs> Growbug Tales, Chapter 11. Cadets, I was never a guardian, Hum corrected. You weren't? Chirp asked. I've always been a keeper. I felt drawn to the care of my fellow Growbug since before my metamorphosis. Once I even... Hum broke off. Watch her hum? Chirp prodded. Wait, Quiver cautioned. She's seeing. Oh, Chirp gawked as Hum saw and heard something from a distance away. The powers of the seers were subtle. Chirp didn't do subtle. That took me 12 minutes to write, and that was 70 words. For October 18th, 2023, uh, my 10-minute writing session in Grobug Tales Chapter 11 reads thus. I understand, Glimmer. Hum paused, turning her attention elsewhere. Quiver and Chirp looked at each other and back at Hum, concerned about what they couldn't see or hear that the Watcher could. There is much fear and worry in the camp. I will help to ease everyone here. You have done valiantly, child. Hum turned to her charges and said, It looks like we could all use some help with being quiet. Hum glowed with a soft, warm light and sent out a song of soothing to each young growbug in reach. Quiver and Chirp settled down and forgot about their ideological differences for a time. The growbug cadets and grow grubs heard the song from within, and each one felt their worry melt away. Thoughts of danger and destruction didn't leave their minds. Those ideas became abstract, distant. Each grow bug felt he or she was doing exactly what Luz demanded of him or her, and so felt content with whatever awaited them. All was Luz, and Luz was all, so in the end, the details were nothing to be sad or distressed over. That took me 12 minutes to write, and that was 184 words. For my 10-minute writing session, October 19, 2023, I am continuing to write Growbug Tales, Chapter 11. Come out, everyone. Watcher Tut's voice cut through Hum's soothing song with warmth and triumph. We are no longer in danger. It is time to celebrate our victory, Tut laughed. Wow, they're the best, Chirp exclaimed. You're too loud, Quiver chided Chirp. Back so soon, Hum wondered. Watcher Tut, we're here. Chirp wriggled her way through the hiding nest she, Quiver, and Hum were in. No, don't, Hum cried. What's wrong? Chirp asked, confused. Stay here, stay safe, be strong, Hum whispered to Quiver, then made her way out of the nest. Watcher? Chirp hesitated. Where is everyone? Hum pulled Chirp close to her and surveyed the area. A fine mist clung to everything in the camp. It swirled unnaturally, as if searching. Hum stretched out with her mind to quell the fears of the hidden grow bugs all around her. The mist seemed to rest on the nests where they lay hidden. Ahead of her, the mist swirled and pushed itself in between the cracks. Terror spiked through the keepers and cadets hidden therein. That took 15 minutes to write, and that was 174 words. For October 20th, 23, this is my 10-minute writing session in Growbug Tales, Chapter 11. And three nests of concealment burst asunder as mock wings formed from their mists, their bodies taking form from the gathering of the swirling mists. Keepers lashed out at the predators with tendrils of light, Growbug cadets skittered and scattered in frenzied terror. Mock wings croaked and gave chase, making for a chaotic cacophony that added to the confusion. Hum left Chirp gawking as she entered the fight with a ferocity unseen in her by any of her youngest charges. The keepers gathered all the growbugs together and formed a defensive circle around them to ward off any... And that took me 12 minutes to write, and I wrote 87 words. So after I put the episode together, which I just have come back from, uh, it's given me an opportunity to think about what happened and why it took me so long to put out this episode. And uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know I need to fine-tune my workflow a little bit. I think that's the problem. Uh, 
really ideally what I should do is I should do my 10-minute recording of whatever sort. I should do the commentary on it and package that up into a video and get that produced and then get that uh, uploaded to YouTube or wherever, um, get my audio file converted from it if need be, and also uh, throw it into the document that I have for the next Story Over Everything episode. That workflow would make sense, and whether I'm doing an episode that week that I've produced all the content for that week, or if I'm stacking up content like I want to and I'll be releasing stuff uh, a month or two months or just a week or two down the line, uh, I should go ahead and keep up with that workflow. And I guess uh, along with the you know living life 10 minutes at a time with my writing and drawing, um, I think I need to follow that up with keeping my workflow nice and tidy so that I'm not having to go back and remember and you know make up uh, thumbnails or grab screenshots or whatever. And also like the way... Um, like, I need to make sure I'm grabbing thumbnails from stuff as I'm doing it as well. Uh, that way, just in case I need, uh, like, the, you know, YouTube doesn't automatically get a good thumbnail or even for the blog post, uh, so I can have a good thumbnail. I need to make sure I grab that at the beginning of the process, too. Like, I'm doing a good job of generating the content for my thumbnail, what they're going to be, because I'm just grabbing it from the information that I'm putting on the screen at the beginning of the video for, like, 10 or 15 seconds as I'm ramping up into it, but I failed to capture that, and then now I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to go back and grab that for different videos. So that's, you know, less than ideal, and I want the... I'm, I'm putting the information there because it helps me produce the video, but then I was forgetting to put it there to also help me, well, produce it, you know, in the best way I possibly can, which means... Uh, utilizing every bit of that uh, to make my process as efficient as possible. So, anyway, um, taking the time to reflect and think about everything uh, is good. I've, I've, I think it's going to be a little tidier, a little neater for next week. Uh, I certainly hope so. So, uh, here's hoping and cheers. Take care of yourself until next time, folks. This is MJ signing out. I hope you enjoyed that. Go to mjmunoz.com to leave any questions, comments, or other feedback you might have. There you can find all of my analysis, art, and fiction. I cover books, tokusatsu, comic books, anime, and more. Look around. You're sure to find something else that you'll enjoy as well. This has been a Story Over Everything production.